Good morning, friends. I'm Pastor Ben Hayes from First Baptist Church, Dadeville, Alabama, bringing you our thought for the day on this Wednesday morning. Yes, it is hump day. It is prayer meeting day, and I'm excited about the fact of meeting with God's people this evening at 6 o'clock right here at First Baptist Church, Dadeville. You can also watch online if you choose to do that, but we would love to have you join us here on campus for just uh, about 45 minutes of prayer and Bible study, and I know that uh, it'll be a great time of fellowship too. So join us tonight. If you have your Bibles, turn with me to Proverbs chapter 28, and I hope that you've already had a time to do your quiet time today, uh, but right now we just want to take a few moments to look at uh, a few verses here in Proverbs chapter 28, and what we find in this part of this chapter is that King Solomon is very much concerned about justice and rightness or righteousness. And he tells us a few things that, that apply to our lives as well as what was going on in, in his uh, life and his situation. But in verse 7, he says, Whoever keeps the law is a discerning son, but a companion of gluttons shames his father. In other words, we as parents want our kids to be law-abiding citizens. We want them to do right. Now, of course, He's talking about God's law. He's talking about walking in, in righteousness. And you know, this is important to God. The prophet uh, Micah made this statement. He says, what does God want from us but for us to do justice, to love mercy, and to walk humbly with our God? Those are the things that God wants. He, he's not looking for, for sacrifice. He's not looking uh, for us to give lots of money to his church. He's looking for us to be the kind of people that demonstrate who he is. He is a just God. He is a merciful God. And he is a God who wants his people to humble themselves before him because this is not about arrogance. It's not about pride, this Christian life that I'm, we're talking about. It's about serving others. And you can't serve others if you don't have those three attributes in your life. So he says, whoever keeps the law is a discerning son. He knows what his father wants. And while he's talking about an earthly father, we could also say a heavenly father because we we want to do what God has commanded us to do. But a companion of gluttons shames his father. Now, I think it's interesting that he puts it that way. A companion of gluttons shames his father. Not a glutton shames his father, but a companion of gluttons. And that's because the people we hang out with tend to be like us or tend to change us to be like them. It's like the verse that says, bad company corrupts good morals. Uh, I've used this illustration a, a lot of times, but if you take a kindergarten class and as long as the teacher's in there, everything is good, they'll behave, they'll be quiet, but you let the teacher step out of the room, what happens? They instantly erupt in conversation and doing things that they shouldn't do. And it's not just kindergarten. It goes all the way up through high school, I'm sure. But the, the truth is we have a tendency to go towards the, um, the less obedient uh, lifestyle. And that's what he's talking about here. A companion of glutton shames his father because it's not going to be long before he becomes a glutton as well. But look at verse 8. He said, one who increases his possessions by usury and extortion gathers it for him who will pity the poor. And uh, he, he's really talking about how we need to treat people in, in a way that we would want to be treated. It's the golden rule all uh, around, uh, do unto others as you would have them do unto you. But it's also going back to do justice, love mercy, walk humbly with your God. Uh, because here's the thing, we can gather uh, things that we want, we can charge an incredible amount of interest, we can force people to, to give to us, but uh, ultimately what's going to happen is God is going to get it, God's going to take it. He's the one who will pity the poor. And uh, we can, uh, it's like the parable Jesus taught about the rich man who uh, brought in so much of a harvest one year that his barns couldn't hold them. So he decided, I'm going to build bigger barns, and I'm going to be set for life, and I'm not going to have to worry about anything ever again. And Jesus said uh, to, about that man that God would say, Thou fool, and uh, everything that he had he would lose, and he would forfeit his life. Uh, because what God has given to us, he's given to us for the good of others. Have you ever thought about that? Every possession you have that God has given to you is to minister to someone else. 
Find a way to do that today. Take what you have, take what you know, take who you are, and use it to minister to someone who is in need and see how God blesses. I hope that you have a great day today. Be safe.